defense making a statement early with a sack. Yeah, you always want to hit the quarterback early, get some self-doubt in the quarterback, but also give the offensive linemen some self-doubt going like, man, this might be a long day, and I think it will be. The Redskins have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The Redskins put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. He's got a chance to return this one. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. Andy Dalton Blue will be under center. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Zebra, zebra. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Play clock's running down. Hill's going to take the handoff now. Baker's there to make the tackle. Jim, let's keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. The Bengals line up, split backfield. The Bengals snap it at the 41. Still not taken down. The Redskins defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Loss of a couple that time. This is third down. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Dalton from the shotgun to Williams. Balls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Looks like they'll go three and out on this series. Huber is back now. He'll be punting. He's going to try and return this punt. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. And a run back of about 10. The Redskins heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Here's a look at the Redskins offense. This is one of the better units in the league and ranks currently fourth in points scored per game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Handoff by Griffin. Not able to get away from Dunlap. Sims is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The Redskins get set at the line, needing to get to the 38 for a first. Griffin's back in shotgun formation. He makes the catch. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Ball spotted at the 49-yard line. The Redskins at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. 
First down at the 49. Looking across the middle. And now we'll take a look at the Bengals defensive lineup. There they sit in the top three in the league against the run. Second and ten. Sims has got it on the handle. And that'll be a gain of about two. Sims is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Third down following the run. Griffin's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. Griffin's got it in the gun. Catch made. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense that time. They play smart. Third long. Cover the deep receivers. Make the quarterback throw it short on third and long. They're in punting formation. That beautifully executed punt now really will help out this defense, forcing the opposition to start the next drive inside the 10. The Bengals' offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Double tight end formation. He's got the catch. Games 18. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. First down at the 22. Hills handed the football. And with that, let's take a look at the Bengals offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. The Bengals go with two tight ends on this play. On the money. Good yardage picked up on that ball. That's reception number two for him. Well, he played this cover, cover four. In other words, you got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the end cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the end round. First down coming up. Hill takes his spot in the backfield. Dalton, handoff. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. The Bengals running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Playing press coverage to the outside. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Has the catch. That was a nice game in that play that time. Well designed by the offensive coordinator. Yeah, it was a good throw and catch. But that time, I'm giving all the credit to the, to the design of the play. That's what made it happen. scrimmage is the 26 yard line let's see what they do on first down following that huge play Dalton will take it from the gun two hands on the football and has the catch
the Bengals have driven inside the red zone, and last week they were so effective inside the 20. Red, blue, 10, zebra, zebra. The Redskins defense lined up going with the 46 defense. And the Dalton's pass in the direction of A.J. Green. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Redskins defense now is going to go nickel. Third down and two. Hill with the reception. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold it. Now moving the football to the 10-yard line. First and goal from the 10. Hill's taking the handoff. Picks up about five. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Redskins load up the box, going with the 46 defense. Second and goal from the five. Running right through the trenches. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. When you start out in bad field position, it's up to the coach to get you out of it. What a job by the coordinator. They have marched down the field. Now they're inside the red zone. Let's see if they can score. What a catch. Touchdown. About halfway through the second quarter now, and that touchdown gives them the lead. Yeah, nothing like a positive drive, just like we saw there, Jim. And it's here midway in the second quarter. They found a way to, to finally get in the end zone, take the lead. Good job by the offense. The Redskins ready to return the kick. He'll take it from the one. taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 it's a two tight end formation Sims is going to secure the handle Second down coming up. Got the completion. Not able to get away from Hawk. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Five still to go, even after that last completion. It's becoming evident here, partner, that this defense has done quite a job so far and is ready for this occasion. I know it's only the second quarter, but they've dictated the pace of this one. You are right. I know it's early in the game, like you said, but so far the defense is winning the battle, and I think we kind of expected that coming into today's game. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Bengals bring their offense back onto the field. Touchdown drive the last time they had it as they attacked that secondary. They sure did. They threw the football well on that last drive. And now I would think as an offensive coordinator, they're thinking pass on the defensive side. Switch it up. And I think you can catch them with some good runs here. Green's got the catch on the touch throw. The Bengals are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. 
Dalton's been on the mark to this point. He has. He's one of the better throwers in the NFL. You give him time like he's had here so far today, he is going to put it right on target. Hills met after a gain of three. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. It's Bernard in the backfield. Third and seven. Makes the catch in open space. Only 35 yards to the end zone. The Redskins lined up in the nickel. And we've reached the two-minute warning. Andy Dalton will be under center. First down at the 35. Hills tackled down at the 32. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time they stopped the play for a short game. Second down following the run. Press coverage all the way. Dalton over to Eifert. One of the better talented tight ends in the NFL. He makes that catch just right in stride and gets a nice catch. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. The Redskins defense lined up in a 4-6 formation. The defensive line now spreading out. I think they want to try to pressure the quarterback. First and ten. Hill's going to take the handoff now. The Redskins call a timeout. They're first. Second down. The Redskins defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Jeremy Hill has the catch. Third down now. Dalton's lined up. Two tight end set. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. From the gun, Dalton. And a flag comes out. And nothing there as that was double covered. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. First and goal from the eight. Gonna be touchdown, Bengals. Built to climb the penalty and let the play stand. We're approaching halftime, and with that touchdown, they have a little extra breathing room before the break. Oh, man, they're inhaling big time, and they love the way they feel right now where they're at in this football game on the defensive side. Listen, you got some information. You saw what they're doing on the other side, so make some adjustments and find a way to get back in and, and get a way to win this game. The Bengals ready to boot the football down the field. Yeah. 
makes the catch at the seven. The Redskins offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. Riffin set in the pistol. First down at the 30. He's thrilled as he throws. Second and ten coming up. The Bengals go with the dime formation here on defense. The Redskins will take the snap from the 30. Down the field. Intercepted. Heading into the half of the defense continues to dominate the opposition. Oh, they are playing smothering defense. That's what they're doing. They're just every play that we see the offense run. The defense is right there, making a tackle, getting turnovers. Hey, man, this has been fun to watch. That'll wrap up the second quarter here in the Queen City of Cincinnati. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second half. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. With this kick, the second half is underway. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Bengals come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. After running it, it's second down. Dalton's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Hill in the backfield. Single back set. The D-line all talking. I think they're expecting run. That's why they're shifting to their left. Shakes off the tackle. Baker's the one who brings him to the ground. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Be under center. Oh, look at that. Linebackers moving around. An open lane. Hills marked down after a gain of nine. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and short following the run. The Redskins defense packs it in now, going with the 46. Handoff. And Bernard is brought down. Pretty predictable call that time by the offense. It's second and short. The defense is thinking one thing. They are thinking run, and they stop it. It's third down coming up. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Back to the ground. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That gains a few. Bernard's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain.
Play number six coming up on this drive. They bring in the extra tight end. Andy Dalton in the shotgun formation. Has Eifert. Then picks up about three. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Dalton's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Third down after the completion. The Bengals come to the line with a bunch set. It's intercepted! That brings the play to an end. Midway through the third, and the burden to get on the board is back on the offense as the defense sets them up with the takeaway. You know what I say to the offense right now? Don't look at the scoreboard. Don't worry about the game and everything. Just go out there and do all the little things right. Do your job, and that will turn around the performance of this offense. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. Coming to the line of scrimmage right at midfield. Second down and ten. They're going to run it on the toss. And he steps out of the field to play. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Third and five coming up. Griffin set. Everybody emptied out for this snap. From the gun. Griffin over to Reed. That's his first reception today. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. The Bengals will come out in the dive. The Redskins have it at the 29. Throws the pass. Intercepted by Reggie Nelson. And now to add to the highlights, an interception by this defense as the fourth quarter approaches Phil. Well, we've seen it all. They've been terrific against the run, magnificent against the pass, and that's why they have a zero up there on the board for the defense. Hill's got it on the handoff. And that's good for only a yard or two. The Bengals lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Hills had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Dalton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Gets his feet down right near the chalk. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. Nice job by the receiver running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. Extra point is good. The Redskins ready to return the kick. He'll have a chance to take off. Tackles made right around the 26-yard line. 
The Redskins are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Second down coming up. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Pass is intercepted. And Phil, what a time to make the interception in the end zone, no less. Oh, man, you want to make a coach crazy? Throw an interception in the end zone as a quarterback, and you'll see a coach that's going to get upset and probably yell at the quarterback as he's coming to the sideline. First and goal from the two. And here's the toss. Cincinnati is in for the score. That's the 25th rushing touchdown of his career. The Bengals for the point after. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Bengals getting ready for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Redskins just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. The Redskins take it from the 28. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. When receivers are running drag routes across the field, you got to have nice touch and accuracy on the football. That time, the quarterback just throws it too far in front. Sims is in the backfield. He's wide open for the grab. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. First down, following the long play. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. The Redskins have it at the 44. And he's taken down. The offensive line that time had no idea this quarterback was coming on the blitz. He timed it perfectly. And the speed and the talent to get there. And he gets the sack on the QB. Third down on the way. We're heading to the fourth quarter in what has been a completely one-sided affair. I'd ask you if a comeback is possible, but when it's this margin, Phil, I'm a realist. You are. You are a realist, Jim. And, you know, when you're behind, like you are a lot of times when we play golf by the 14th or 15th hole, you know it's over. But we finish it out. And you know what? Same here in this football game. They got to go ahead and finish this game out. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Garcon's got it and on a pass that had some heat. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Griffin's completion percentage, 40% on the day. The line of scrimmage right at the 24. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun. 
Garcon has a reception. Gains 17. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Runs it across for the touchdown. Good job that time by the defense. They cover the receivers. Nobody's open, but who's watching the quarterback? Nobody. Good scramble for the touchdown by the QB. The Redskins preparing for the onside kick. That's a timeout call. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. It'll be a touchback. The Bengals back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, isn't it amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field? You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see him to go out there and have success again. First down at the 20. Hills handed the football. That's Goldson making the stop. Good job on the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. First down here. Playing press coverage to the outside. Two tight ends on the field here. The give. Bernard is brought down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Redskins with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Dalton sends it to Green. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Bengals are in front thanks to their quarterback. Dalton's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart making decisions. And when you put those two things together, the ball is fumbled. And the defense has it. Midway through the fourth, and that fumble cannot make that coaching staff very happy, Phil. Well, you know what? Now they got something to complain about. When the game is over, they can say, now look, fellas, it was really good out there today, but that fumble, we can't do that. Well, listen, you can always point to something. It's been an outstanding showing by this football team up to that point. The Redskins take it from the 43. Deshaun Jackson has the catch. Jackson's tackle down at the 38. Quickly to the line. Now first and 10. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. The football is at the 38. Reads on the right side, split out wide. The Redskins take it from the 38. Makes the reception. Gains 20. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When you're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. Coming to the line the 18 the Bengals defense now loading up expecting pass with a dime defense and Griffin's pass will go incomplete 
That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Third and ten. Incompletion here as he was looking over the middle. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. Press coverage all the way. The Redskins turn the ball over on downs. The Redskins go for it on fourth down, and they do not get it done. Now it's up to their defense to bail them out. The Bengals' offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. Man, they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. And you're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. Here we have second down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Three-step drop. The reception by Tyler Eifert. Third down. Hills lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Gets the handle here. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. When it's third short, the defensive line, you got to guess. you got to think it's going to be a run play. I don't know what they were thinking. They let the offense just push them back, and they give up the first down. Good job by the offense, though. the 34 66 yards from pay dirt they better hurry to get the staff takes it again hills tackled right at the 42 he's averaging about four yards a carry second down and two to go after the running play two minutes to go before this one's in the books For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Second down and two. They want to keep feeding him the football. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Redskins sat at the line. Dime package. Back to him. Trying to power his way right up the middle. The Redskins use another timeout here, and they have one left. Second and three after that last carry. It hurts. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Takes off from the five. And he's 
going to be taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The Redskins take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. The Redskins have it at the 34. The defense gets a sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback, run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. Well, even though this game is already over, it doesn't matter. I like the fact that you're going with this hurry up offense that give your team some confidence and maybe prepare for the future. And it's batted down. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. The Redskins look like they have nothing left after a hard-fought victory a week ago. And today, they are getting dusted. Well, the mind was right. The body is just not there for them today. They're definitely out of gas, and it shows in this performance one of their worst of the season. They bring back out the offense to go for it. <laughs> Going to go to the hurry-up with under a minute to play. The Redskins turn the ball over on down. And as ugly as things have gotten, this offense might actually be relieved to be able to get off the field at this point. Oh, you know, I, I think you're right. I think they are relieved that this game is going to come to an end because there was no positive reinforcement. You're getting dominated physically. You have no hope. And that's hard to play in situations like that. Loss of four on the play. Takes the knee. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple of days. Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.